whatever you just put it over there as of now i have some questions i'll just answer java dot net and other add-ins are listed for windows application or enterprise application add-ins by default qtp you have to buy the add-in in qtp once you purchase the add-in qtp by default show all the add-in in the add-in window during startup you will see that add-in window in add-in window it will show by default all the add-ins it is users responsibility to choose the add-in appropriate for their application under test what is the problem if after installation of qtp under each menu menu items are not displayed what is the problem if after installation of qtp under each menu menu items are not displayed i think what he is saying is about in qtp he is talking about this menu items menu items are not displayed if this is the case you need to ensure dot net framework is properly installed and that is not corrupted otherwise remove all the dot net framework remove the installation of qtp reinstall then everything will be available this is directly binded to the dot net framework okay any more questions as of now two questions any more questions you can type it now i proceed with review so data management i will end today's review with data management tomorrow we'll talk about set to property etc so data management this is the way to manage data uh, in fact data management also i will take it tomorrow because it takes time so we will now go with our actual description object we call this as description dot create any doubt as of now please let me know are you able to go through the class notes are you able to go through the recorded session please raise your hand if the add-ins are not installed objects will not recognize by qtp by default standard windows is a default add-in which you cannot disable you cannot say i cannot install it by default qtp installs the four add-ins including dot uh, standard windows web add-in etc you can have an option to unselect web add-in vb script add-in activex but standard windows is the default add in used so you qtp tries his best to recognize windows add in when i was talking about windows add in it is purely uses user 32.dll which is the dll of windows to expose the object that is opened in the window of qtp sorry window of microsoft so he recognizes those he passes those information using user 32.dll and that is the information add in users to recognize the object and push back to qtp this is the way the qtp understands the object